It is day two at the Eurovision Song Contest 2013 and next to us now is the Irish delegation, the Irish ambassador, we already chatted to him in Amsterdam, it's Ryan Dolan. Hi, nice to see you again. Hey. Nice to see you too. So how are you feeling? How was your first impression from today's rehearsal? Um, I was really happy with it. Um, I was really excited to get on the stage and um, just see how it all looks. But once we got to watch it back, we were really pleased. Um, so yeah, everything went well and the whole team's happy. Fantastic, really. So, you're kind of a favorite here in this contest. Am I really? <laughs> oh yes, I, I'm checking the Swedish television, the Finnish television, everybody's talking about Ireland and now oh, they good. compare you to oh, the, the, those days when you had Johnny Logan. Yeah. <laughs> you, you feel the pressure or you didn't know it before that you were such an... Um, I, I'd be honest, I didn't, I didn't think I was a favorite over here. Um, but I don't, then I tell you, you are yeah, a really? favorite. <laughs> oh, that's, that's brilliant. Um, no, that's cool. That's really cool. So how does it feel to, to take over after the Jumping Twins? <laughs> um, well, to, to, like, I, I, to be honest, I think the Twins, they actually really brought the Eurovision back to Ireland again. Um, a lot of the younger people had no interest in the Eurovision up until they participated. So it's really made the balls in Ireland about the Eurovision a lot bigger. So it's helped me. Um, so people's getting behind me a lot more now because the younger ones are they're really interested in it. So I think it's I think it's really cool that they were in, in the competition twice. So it means that the status is yeah. moving yeah, up this, again. Yeah, definitely because it had been for years in the 90s when we were doing really well and then uh, we sent to Turkey and then it sort of went downhill from there. But um, now everybody's really excited about it back home um, and been really supportive of me. So it's, you know, it's great. I have to ask you now, are these real diamonds? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah. They look very real to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I thought they were. Uh, will you have real diamonds on stage when it's uh, time uh, for the. I don't know. I'm, for the semi final? I'm debating whether I'm going to be wearing these or not, so we'll see. You mean you have several? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm, I, we will have to look for that. What kind of diamonds this man is wearing on stage during the final one? <laughs> and last question from my side is about: uh, Are you working on a new album, maybe for on your first so first album? Perhaps? Yes, my first album. Yeah, um, I finished all the vocals, so it's actually just getting uh, produced now and mixed and mastered. Mm -hmm. So um, we're hoping to have a money album ready for the semi-final. All right. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna have maybe eight or nine tracks on that. A few remixes of Only Love Survives on it as well. And um, we're hoping to have the finished album around end of July sort of time. So I'm really excited about that and um, glad we get an opportunity to have something out there mm -hmm. that people can um, that people listen to. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. Ryan and Ireland, all the best of luck. Thanks very to much. To do very well and thank maybe you. an eighth time at Eurovision. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.